so sorry, more thoughts. I'm just going to put these two up together. Um, Amy's age at the time when the offences were committed, you know, you have to, whatever Amy's behaviour, and Amy's behaviour has been seriously disturbed and damaging and dangerous. Amy is extraordinarily vulnerable, probably extremely vulnerable, and living within a very, very complex set of power dynamics. A very complex and confusing set of power dynamics. Um, the kind of power dynamics that most people will never have to grapple with and the normal human psyche cannot cope with. And the psyche re responds to those kind of power dynamics in a, a number of very surprising ways. Now, <coughs> the Green Party and Labour have rapidly latched onto a strand of very extreme violent misogyny because We've discussed the word turf at length on this channel. Do you know what I mean? It's a nonsensical moniker. Um, and it's one that was very useful to major political media machinery who wanted to hide from the existence of these systems that I'm discussing, and that I'm always discussing. Now what they're going to do now is they're going to protect identity and they're going to throw Amy Challoner to the walls and they're going to say that actually this was Amy's fault and Labour are going to do the same with Liam and they're going to say that the reason when it comes out whatever it is that Sophie Cook and Bloody Botha end up doing because my fucking god more fucking red flags than a royal wedding as bunting they will throw these people to the wolves now I have been, the next playlist that I'm going to do, which I'm not going to start till next week, will outline the processes by which the Labour left reproduce their own identity to facilitate austerity and to hide from existence of these systems and the way that that repeatedly created the same impact for women, which was abuse of women online and off, to maintain this false legacy identity. I think that playlist is quite important. Because although for me it's about austerity, in the context of this, it's about how political parties view the vulnerable people that they do this to. And it's about the fact that they maintain elite social closure by creating objects and then they lift up people like Amy Challoner, it turns out. Amy Challoner is not a driver in this situation. His father is. The Green Party is. He's a very messed up young man who's caused a great deal of harm to a great many women and I'm not the only one. But he is not the driver here. He is a passenger. And the problem here is the Green Party. And the question is why they were so keen to latch onto this and why Amy's star rose and why he was given positive reinforcement for the first time in his life for abusing women when he had a history of quite concerning behaviour. The impact of the power dynamics that Amy Challoner exists in make this a disturbing situation. And the links between disturbing online trans activism, the harassment of women, coordinated harassment of women, and organised paedophiles, it's disturbing. And the picture that's opening up is really actually quite disturbing. But Amy Challoner, while he's an adult, and he's responsible for his own behaviour, and he's certainly responsible for industrialised stalking, and he enjoyed it very much. He's a very troubled young man. The questions here are about the Green Party, and the questions here are about David Challoner, and the questions here are about our political media, and all the journalists who retweet out uncritically repeated what Amy Challoner said when he was clearly very unwell, and talking about quite disturbing behaviour.